Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a candle review for you, but before we go any further, I know I've made a lot of videos looking the same, same makeup. I'm just gonna quickly tell you what this lipstick color is. It's a Maybelline lipstick color in 430 Magnificent Mauve, and that is on my lips, as well as Pretty Plush, which is by MAC, on just in the center, just to make it a little bit glossy. So moving on. We have a candle review today of Tilly by Tilly Australia. Um, this is their candle here. So Tilly is something I found three of these. I found this brand at HomeSense uh, for $9.99 Canadian. It's compared to $16 on this sticker. But I did look online. I couldn't get a scent description online, but I did look online at eBay and people are selling it for $24 American which would probably be closer to $30 Canadian. And when this is compared to $16 Canadian, that's crazy. And they're shipping a cost on top of that. So, but I picked up three Tilly candles and this one is in Tropical Gardenia. I had rather good success with the other one, the lychee one that, that I, or lychee, one that I burnt last time in my bathroom, like in a smaller room, whether it's a bathroom, a small den or something like that, it worked. And so with that, with knowing that I took this, it's currently burning in my bathroom right now. Um, there is no scent description. I could not find it online. I only can tell you probably similar to what I just told you. Last time it's 240 grams, uh, vegetable base waxed and it's burns, burn times up to 45 minutes. Um, I do like the label. It's super simple. It matches the box. Like, oh, I'm gonna try to do. So each of the labels kind of match the color box that it comes with. Uh, again, Tropical Gardenia, again, is a scent. Um, it says soy wax on the bottom, but online it said vegetable wax, which I guess, I don't know. For best results, ensure wick is trimmed to six millimeters, never burn for less than one hour or more than three hours at a time. Well, that might be why I have a little bit of soot because sometimes, you know, I burn them for three. I think this one was burning for only for four hours today before I blew it out. Um, but love the packaging. I, I This is like, it's see-through. It's so illuminate, it illuminates, so like the candle does illuminate through. It's very lovely. Again, because of my last experience, I knew that this would do really well in my bathroom. And again, it is. And it's beautiful. It's not the same kind of gardenia, not the pow, like, poof, uh, the Bath and Body Works um, uh, Rainforest Gardenia or that kind of thing. They've repackaged that about 5,000 different ways so far in the last couple of years. But um, I really do like it. You, yes, you can definitely get Gardenia note to it. But there's, it's just slightly more of a perfume and not in a bad way. It's not heavy. It's definitely floral. It, it, you know, close your eyes. You probably feel like you're on vacation. This is a beautiful candle. and I've really enjoyed it in my bathroom. Now, when I picked this up at the store, out of the three candles that I've picked up in this line, this is probably my least favorite, like the one that I was least excited about because it, it was more of a floral versus a fruit or food or whatever, gourmand, that kind of thing. I really enjoyed this. Um, so the scent appeal in on this in the store probably but only been a seven, that kind of thing. Um, while burning, I'd still say it's about a seven. It was very nice. It was a perfect candle. Again, I had company. This was a great candle to burn while company was here. Um, everyone liked it, wasn't offend offensive or anything like that to anyone. It's been burning wonderfully. The only downfall is that the wick does tend to curl after you can sort of see it there. The wick kind of does a sad wick thing. Uh, does tend to curl and therefore on that side, the side that they curled to, there's a lot of uh, sooting and things like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, but for the burn, other than the bit of sooting, it's been fantastic. There's been no tunneling, um, nothing other than a little bit of soot. So I would give this like an eight um, for the burn itself. This is a great candle. If you find these at, well, for me it was winter. So TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of thing. Um, these are great gifting candles too. Like for, if you're going, you know, summertime hostess or host gift. If you're going to someone's house for a barbecue that kind of thing who may not appreciate booze because not everyone drinks but you know like norm normally people bring a bottle of wine or something or beer or whatever this would be a really nice candle um, to give to someone as well so I'd highly recommend this um, thumbs up I really really do like this candle and if I found it again I probably would repurchase 
Um, yeah, I would, I would repurchase actually this one and also the the lychee or lychee one that I burned before was also very nice. So you guys, I really liked it. And that's that. <laughs> so that again, as always, have fun and be safe.